Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Reagan. So today I thought it would be fun to do a makeup demo look tutorial, what have you, and use makeup artist founded clean beauty items. So there's quite a few and we've seen like quite a few of pretty big names like Gucci Westman, Bobbi Brown enter the clean makeup space with lines. So I decided let's just sit down and do a full face. We're gonna be talking about quite a few brands that I've used and loved for a while like Care Wise, some newer brands like Danessa Myricks which I'll talk about them. I think that they're like clean adjacent. They're definitely not like organic or green beauty by any means. Cloven Hallow is kind of like rebranded themselves and yeah before we get into the makeup look though, I just wanna say, so Fit Glow is not founded by a makeup artist, but they emailed me to let me know that April 25th through May 5th is their seventh birthday celebration. So on all orders over $150, they are offering this really nice GWP. So this is worth, I wrote this green sticky note, how classy. It's worth $189. So there are two lip serums. So in shade Nice and also Beam. And then, and then their eyeliner, which I've never used this. So I'm excited to try that. And their mascara. And these are all full sizes. And then also a full size of, I don't think I have this shade, but this is, smudge shade. This is their multi-use, like this can be used as an eyeshadow, eyeliner, what have you. And then that's not all. They offered me a special code to share with my followers, which is 20% off with code REAGANBDAY20. So I'll have all this down in the description box. This again runs for a week and I just wanted to share with you guys because I think that's a really good deal, like 20% off and like all of this. Like, that's a really good deal. And I have enjoyed, I've especially, you guys know I love the lip serums. The mascara is really nice. I haven't tried the shade of the multi-use, so I need to do that. But it's fun that I get to try the eyeliner as well. So yeah, uh, let's just roll into this video. Again, I do want to mention this wasn't sponsored by Fit Glow, but I didn't have time to make like a whole video for it, you know, time restraints and stuff. So I just wanted to throw this at the beginning of this one. So let's roll into these makeup artist brands and just do this full face together. All right guys, so the first brand that I'm starting out with is Foundation. So this is the 14E Aloe Nourish Foundation. So this brand was founded by a makeup artist based now in LA, she's from San Diego. And that is Emma Fortini. So I have really enjoyed their setting powder. That's like my all time favorite product from them. But I do have their Aloe Nourish Foundation. This has an SPF of 23 to it. And this is shade Birch 1.5 that I'm using. And they've switched the packaging up on this. So this is how much I'm using. I might, I'm just going to dot it on first. It used to be in a pump. It has a very nice lavender scent to it. And this has a nice aloe base to it. It's definitely different than a lot of foundations that I've tried in the clean space. So I'm just putting that on my jaw, the residual. And I'm blending this out. So I'd say this has medium coverage to it. It has a more satin matte finish. And I like this 1.5 shade for my skin tone. Like, I just think it looks really like on point. One of you guys said that you really, not even just one, a couple of you guys have said that you guys have really liked this foundation because it isn't like dry, like how it dries down. And I know that sounds very odd. So the finish is satin matte, but it doesn't feel dry on the skin because sometimes like, like the Fig Glow Foundation, I know some of you guys said was too dry for your skin, but this one, because of that really aloe base, is not. So, just some food for thought. All right, and then I'm using the NYX. This is the Veil Cover and Conceal from Ritual Defeat. So Ritual Defeat was actually founded by three sisters, the Ramo sisters. So one is an artist and two of them are makeup artists specifically. And I have liked their products. I think they really know, especially their blush and highlights that I 
those are my favorites from them. I'm going to use one of them. But this product's like pretty good. It feels nice on the skin. I don't love the coverage of it so much. I actually wish it was a little bit fuller coverage because it's one of those that it's like, it's just one of those that like, it's not as thick as I would like for a concealer, but it's not as thin as I would like just texture wise for a foundation. So yeah, I do like the brand overall. I think it has a cool aesthetic. It's definitely different in the space. I know that they kind of went like viral on the interwebs for their, I think they have like this highlight or something that's black, but it doesn't show up black or it's like a blush or something that looks black, but then it like shows up as like a blush color or something. Something very clever like that. I haven't tried it, but I've tried enough of their like blushes, highlights, ISAs. They just have a really nice formulation to them. So this is great like with this foundation because this foundation is more of a medium full coverage, but just it's one that I have friends that like to wear it by itself and I'm not one of those people are in that camp. They have different skin types than me. They're more dry skinned. I'm just like normal combo with this huge spider bite right here. It's healing, but it's still there. All right, so the next brand that I wanted to highlight in this video, so this is LYS. So LYS Beauty, it actually means love yourself. So this is one of the first, I don't, I think it is the only you can correct me if I'm wrong, black owned clean beauty brand at Sephora. And they have really nice formulation. I love their bronzer. I actually like the setting powder. They have different, they have, I just wanna highlight their bronzer cause I'm not going to use it today cause I wanna highlight another brand, but the bronzer is really awesome. Uh, there's like six shades of it and it's like very affordable, very buttery, blends out like a dream. But this powder is very nice as well. I just have this in translucent setting powder. I don't remember if there are multiple shades of this or not, but this was sounded by Tisha Thompson and she had been in clean beauty product development for like 15 years and had worked as a makeup artist as well. So she definitely knew her stuff in creating this line. They do have a foundation. I have found that I, I like the foundation enough. It's not my favorite, but I prefer their powder products like their setting powder and their bronzer top level. I tried to pick things I really did like overall and the setting powder is very nice and the bronzer. It's a constant go-to for me. All right guys, so the next brand that I wanted to highlight is Salt New York. So I have their smaller version of this palette. So it looks like a wallet. That's why I like it because it's just really small and compact. It's refillable. It does have a mirror with it as well. So good for travel. And I actually really have liked the formulation of uh, these. Like I got off track with my ramble, but I've liked the formulation quite a bit. I'm using the bronzer and this is one of the few, I have like three cream bronzers, which is saying a lot because I bet I have like 50 cream blushes, but this is one of the few cream bronzers that I really do like. I just think the shade is right. So I have the lightest shade and it's a bronzer, but it's a contour mostly. And I just like for it to look very, very natural. And this brand was founded by Kiki G or Caitlin Galloway. Uh, she is a makeup artist and she also has a YouTube channel as well. And her goal with this brand was to create less waste in the industry with like really compact refillable packaging. And I applaud her for that because I think this is really clever and I've really enjoyed it. So I need a brush to blend this out. And I think the products are just like super usable. Like that's what I personally really like about them because I am not like the A plus professional makeup artist by any means. Like I'm better than probably the average Joe on the street, but I'm not like, you know, I'm not award winning. Let's just say that. Okay, so I'm using the Kiar Weiss. This is their blossoming blush. So this was founded by Kirsten Kiar Weiss. She is a Danish makeup artist. And this is one of like the classic, I would say clean beauty makeup brands that's refillable. They've always had super like sleek, sexy packaging. This is their red packaging, which is paper. And then they also have their more, I would say luxury. I mean, they're, they're both luxury and they both have like luxury branding for sure. But this is a little more heavy duty, this metal packaging. 
And I actually went to a Kiara, what well, I went to, I did like a Zoom Kiara Weiss masterclass where she taught us like how to use the makeup and stuff. It was very informative. I learned a lot about the products and this blush was like part of that makeup class. I just really liked Kiara Weiss's cream products. I think they're very good. I've enjoyed that blush a lot. It's like a very popular shade, this blossoming. That's why they talked about it in that class. So I'm also going to use the Ritual Defee. This is their High Priestess highlight. So this is a newer one to me. I've loved their highlights, guys. They are gorgeous. So I'm just putting this on the high points of my face. They smell good too. Like this has a little bit of like a fresh scent to it. And again, this is founded by the Three Sisters and truly like one of my favorite products. And I love the shifts and tones of their highlights. I love their eyesets, blushes, very good products. So I really like my base. It just looks very nice, like way better than my skin actually looks. So it's always a plus. Okay, so next up I'm going to do brows. So this is the Westman Atelier. This is their new brow defining pencil. So this one has been very interesting to me. Like I've liked it. I think it's a nice brow pencil. It's thicker and we're kind of seeing like people doing what they want with their brows right now. Like I see some people trying to bring back 90s thin brows. I see, you know, just all kinds of things. I'm not going in that direction. Like I just want to fill my brows and then call it a day and not have any patches. And we'll just wait and see how that 90s brow trend goes. But I got this, I'm trying to remember the shade of it and clay it says it on it. I think the packaging looks pretty. It's a little bit different where on this end it has the wand. Again, just a little different. I thought this was going to be like some sort of a clear pomade. It's not, it's just like a dry wand. But overall, I have enjoyed the Westman Atelier products. I have videos up. I also think I have like a blog post review if you are curious. Their foundation's really good. I think I'm going to, did I pull that? Did I? Yeah, I did. I think I'm gonna use their lip suede because I have actually really liked that one. Their mascara, I just think it's very expensive for like what it is kind of thing. Okay, I'm trying to decide with eyeshadow. So I'm going to use two different things. So I have Clove and Hallow and then I also have Danessa Myricks and this is newer to me, like within the last like month or so. So I've loved this, this is shade Ballerina. I use it often, I grab it quite a bit because it's just super easy to use, but I'll talk about that more in a sec. This is Cloven Hallow's Sun, I can't remember if it's Sunset or Sunrise, one of the Sun palettes. Okay, so it is the Sunrise palette, I just looked it up, and it's actually founded by, I just wanna make sure I got her last name right in the right order, Sarah Bigger Stewart. So she's relatively young, I think she's about my age, she's a newer mom, and this is her clean makeup line. So this palette is refillable and I've always liked their I didn't pull the right one one second I'm having a I'm having a moment one sec all right so I'm back and I do have the sunrise palette in hand I just had to find it this one is their other like these are other shades that they have in their eyeshadow so I have really liked the sunrise palette Again, I'm having a day. I just think it's nice. It's super basic, but it's very pigmented. They reformulated this recently and I liked the old formulation. I thought it was pretty nice and pretty pigmented. This is like next level. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to use this creamy white on my crease and blend it down. I zoomed you all in a bit more so you can see. This does have some shimmer to it. Okay, and on my outer corner, I'm going to use this deeper rose and I'm blending this into my crease. Okay, and then Danessa Myrick. So this isn't technically a clean beauty brand, but I really have liked it. This is their Ballerina, and this is a multi-use. I love it on the lid. So I'll use this as just a one color eye look. And Danessa Myrick is a makeup artist. This is available at Sephora, so I actually got to pick this up in store, which was cool. And I really like the wet look that this gives. So I'm just applying this on top of the Cloven Halo. And this wears beautifully on its own. Like it's one of my favorite things to just pick up and like put on my eyes and then throw a little mascara, a little concealer, a lip and go. Like 
It's a great product, would highly recommend. Can I add just a little more? So I do have two eyeliners that I wanted to give an honorable mention to one and then use the other one. So this is Gabriel Cosmetics. So Gabriel is also the founder of Zuzu Lux. So he is a makeup artist and Zuzu Lux Gabriel Cosmetics is one of the like OG clean makeup brands in the natural space. Like they were available at like Whole Foods and a lot of natural grocery stores way before like Credo or Clean at Sephora existed. So I have liked this. I'm just going to use something else because I want to use something else because I want to talk about multiple brands. But this is Jones Road Beauty. So this is actually one of my favorite eyeliners. This was founded by Bobbi Brown, like the Bobbi Brown of Bobbi Brown Cosmetics. And I love how creamy and easy to use this guy is. Like truly, one of the best eyeliners. This is at Credo now. And they have like, I would say it's like school themed makeup. Like this looks like a writing pencil. Easy to use. And I'm taking my angled brush and I'm just going to smoke this line out a little bit. It's a little more faded, which is super easy to work with. Yeah, just rubbing it back and forth. Okay, and then mascara, third time's the charm. This is my, like the third release Kiara Weiss mascara. I didn't like the first two that much, but their impossible one I do like. It's really nice and volumizing. It has a good formulation to it. The brush is kind of different, like it's flat on one side. I'm just using this how you use a mascara. Like this is one of those things like I can't give you like a mascara tutorial, you know, cause you just like paint it onto your lashes. I can demo it though. I can demo it. Okay, today it's kind of looking rather clumpy. I've had this a while. So this is like on its last hurrah. So this side doesn't look as clumpy. I'm gonna get a brush out and try and mess with that because the one side is uh, not my normal look. There, I got it worked out, but it normally goes on more like this. I don't know what happened with that other side, but it is a very nice mascara. I like the volume I get. It's not runny or messy on me, but I like this much more than I liked their original mascara and then their second release, which was like some sort of a volumizing mascara. Like this one gets done what I want it to, and I just think it looks pretty darn nice on the lashes. Okay, so now I'm using, this is the Zuzu Lux. So again, this is founded by Gabriel, same brand as Gabriel Cosmetics. And I believe this is now available at Target, but this is their shade Innocent. And I'm just using this on the lip. And I really like this shade. I think it goes nice with my lips. I'm drawing a little bit of the pigment like forward and down onto my lips. So I was going to use the Westman Atelier lip shade, but I don't think I need to like use three products on my lips because I'm also going to use a gloss, but this is what it looks like. I think it is really pretty and I've really enjoyed it. It's one of my favorite products from them, but what I'm going to use is just the Jones Road. This is their cool gloss. So this has a nice pepperminty smell to it, but I just thought it would go nicely over this lip liner. Just give me a little sheen. Simple. That's what I'm kind of going for with the lip today. Alrighty y'all, so thank you so much for stopping by the channel. I hope I could like help you guys by spreading a little bit of light or shedding, I guess, a little bit of light on these founders. Because yeah, like I was saying, I do think that a lot of times like makeup artists can come out with really, really good special lines that have great formulation. So let me know if you like any of these brands, if you tried any of the products down below. I love chatting with you guys. And thank you so, so much for stopping by the channel. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.